Hi, welcome to Kinetics Part 2. My name is Dr. English. Today in this tutorial, we will be looking at factors that affect reaction rates. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the nature of reactants, concentration of reactants, pressure, surface area, temperature, catalyst, and then finally doing a little summary of factors at the end. So let's start off by talking about the nature of reactants. Specifically, the state of matter involved, whether it's a solid, a liquid, or a gas, and the type of bonding that is involved, specifically looking at ionic and covalent. Remember, reactions involve the breaking of existing bonds and the formation of new ones. Breaking bonds involves the absorption of energy while typically the formation of new ones is going to release energy. In general, covalently bonded substances are slower to react than ionic substances due to the greater number of bonds that must be broken before a reaction can occur. And again, there's always exceptions to the rules, but this is a general trend. Breaking more bonds requires that the particles must have more energy when they collide. Gases tend to react faster than liquids, which in turn tend to react faster than solids. Now let's talk about the concentrations of the reactants. Remember, concentration and amount are not the same thing. Concentration specifically refers to molarity, and we know that the formula for molarity is molarity equals moles over liters. So when we talk about concentration, we look at two different factors. Amount can be pretty much anything, um, grams, moles, something more specific, while concentration is always a relationship between moles and volume. In order to increase concentration, the amount of reactant in a given volume must be increased. So we've got to add to an existing volume of a substance in order to increase the concentration of that particular solute. And we can see down here from this image, we have dilute concentration where there's not many moles of the particular particle dissolved in the water, and then high concentration, greater number of moles of particles in a given volume. Pressure. While pressure has little to no effect on the rate of reactions between solids and liquids, pressure does have an effect on gases. One or more of the reactants must be in the gas state, must be in the gas state for pressure to influence the rate of a reaction. An increase in pressure has the effect of increasing concentration of gaseous particles, which increases the rate of a reaction. So the closer those particles are together, the higher the concentration will be. The fact that gas molecules are closer increases the odds that they will run into each other with sufficient energy sufficient energy and the correct orientation to produce an effective collision. So increasing the pressure within a gaseous system should effectively make the reaction occur faster. Surface area. If one of the reactants is a solid, increasing its surface area will increase the rate of reaction. The surface area of a solid can be increased by breaking it into smaller pieces. So for example, a given amount of zinc will react more readily with dilute hydrochloric acid if the surface area of a zinc is increased by using smaller pieces. Let's think about the relationship of surface area in terms of sugar. Picture sugar in your mind. So sugar in a very compact amount might be like a lump of sugar. So you have, you can think of those little cubes of sugar that you might see. So a lump of sugar would have a good amount of surface area, but if I wanted to increase that surface area, I could break that up and I could form granulated. Granulated. And granulated just means like little grains of sugar. So now by grinding up that lump and breaking it down into smaller amounts, I've increased its surface area. And then if I wanted to increase the surface area even more, I would make it powdered. So powdered sugar, powdered sugar would have the largest amount of surface area because we've taken those individual grains of sugar and broken them up even more. So if you can think about surface area in terms of a sugar cube going into granulated sugar versus powdered sugar, 
you've wrapped your mind around this particular concept. Now let's talk about temperature. Increasing the temperature of a reaction will increase the rate of reaction. That's not always the case, but in most cases, by increasing the temperature, a reaction will occur faster. Remember, temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of a substance. If the particles are moving faster, there will be more collisions. And if there's more collisions, the probability of a successful collision will increase. And if there are more successful collisions, meaning that they have enough speed and proper orientation, the rate of a reaction will increase. So in general, increasing the temperature in a system should increase their overall rate of reaction. Catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that will increase the rate of a chemical reaction. But a catalyst is neither consumed, produced, nor structurally changed during a chemical reaction. A catalyst is going to increase the rate of a chemical reaction by lowering the activation energy of a reaction. A catalyst does not initiate a chemical reaction. It's just going to make it occur faster. Also, something to realize, the catalyst does not affect the value of delta H, your overall heat of reaction, if you were looking at a potential energy diagram. So we've talked about this before, and we know that the activation energy going from reactants A plus B to products AB Activation energy is the amount of energy to go from the potential energy of the reactants to the top of the activated complex. So this area from here down to here is my activation energy. What a catalyst does, as we see by this blue line right here, is it lowers that activation energy. You'll still see an increase. There still will be some activation energy. So we'll still go from a flat line where you start with reactants. It will go up and down, but overall amount of activation energy will be lowered by the presence of a catalyst. Summary of factors that affect reaction rate. We've looked at the nature of reactants. We've looked at the concentration, knowing that increasing the reacting concentration will make the reaction go faster. Pressure, we've talked about the increasing pressure on gases and how that will affect the rate of reaction. Temperature, surface area, and finally we've talked about catalyst. So what did we learn in this tutorial? We've gone over the nature of reactants. We've talked about how the concentration of reactants influences the chemical reaction. Pressure, surface area, temperature, catalyst, and then finally a summary of factors. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.